Chapter 1. What is Medline? Medline is the National Library of Medicine's premier database for medical research. Medline contains article citations dating back to 1950 in the fields of medicine, nursing, dentistry, veterinary medicine, and biomedicine. The database includes international research. Chapter 2. Accessing Medline at the Health Sciences Library To access Medline by Ovid, go to the library homepage and click on Medline, located under Popular Links in the left column. The Upstate Health Sciences Library pays for access to Medline by Ovid which is available to upstate faculty, staff, and students. Advantages are full text access to many of the article citations included within Medline and different options for searching the database. Chapter 3, Using Medical Subject Headings, known as MESH. The articles in the Medline database are organized using medical subject headings. Each article is assigned a group of medical subject headings that describe the topic of that article. Using MeSH makes it easier to search for and find articles on similar topics. If you're unsure of the words to use in your search, you can narrow it down with MeSH. Chapter 4 Using PICO It's very important to plan your research before jumping in and searching for articles. Let's start by looking at an example of a clinical scenario. Your patient with carpal tunnel syndrome wants to avoid surgery and asks you if non-surgical treatments are effective. You have heard about various conservative treatments but are not sure if their effectiveness has been established by scientific evidence. From our clinical scenario, we'll need to identify the pieces of information that will help us form the correct clinical question to research. PICO is an acronym that describes the elements of a well-formed clinical question. P equals patient, population, or problem. I equals intervention, prognostic factor, or exposure. C equals comparison intervention. O equals outcomes of interest. Now. We'll use PICO to identify the appropriate elements in our clinical scenario, then use those elements to form our clinical question. Looking at our clinical scenario, let's identify the PICO components. Carpal tunnel syndrome is our problem. Non-surgical or conservative is our intervention. Surgery is our comparison intervention. Reduced pain is our outcome. Using our PICO components, we can now form our clinical question. In adult patients with carpal tunnel syndrome, are conservative or non-surgical treatments effective in reducing pain? Chapter 5, Broad Searches and Scope Notes in Medline. Now that we've focused our search using PICO, Let's go into Medline by Ovid and try a search. Let's try a broad search for carpal tunnel syndrome. Notice that map term to subject heading is automatically selected. The database has mapped our keywords to the medical subject heading for carpal tunnel syndrome. To see the description for the medical subject heading, Click on the scope note. From our search, we can see that there are 5,936 results in Medline, organized under the medical subject heading for carpal tunnel syndrome. Let's scroll down to view our results. Chapter 6, Using Explode and Focus in Medline. On this screen, we have two options for changing our search. One is the Explode feature. Use the Explode feature if you want to expand your search. 
It will include all medical subject headings related to carpal tunnel syndrome, plus any that are more specific. In our case, we are trying to narrow our search, so we'll use the focus feature. The focus feature helps us narrow our search. It will include only articles in which the medical subject heading we chose is the major point of the article. Chapter 7, Applying Subheadings in Medline. Now that we've chosen to focus our search by limiting to articles where the main medical subject heading is carpal tunnel syndrome, we'll continue to limit our search by using subheadings. A subheading is similar to a keyword. It helps us to more precisely define our topic. Most articles are on very specific topics, and medical subject headings alone will not narrow our search enough to find the articles we need. From the PICO question, you'll remember that the patient is looking for non-surgical procedures to treat carpal tunnel syndrome. From the list of subheadings, we'll choose drug therapy, prevention and control, rehabilitation, and therapy. Chapter 8, Applying Limits and Combining Searches in Medline. After focusing our search and using subheadings, we can see that there are 522 results. Let's continue to narrow our search. We'll apply additional limits. On the additional limits screen, we'll go to age groups and choose all adult 19 plus years. After limiting our search to all adult 19 plus years, we have 255 results. Let's continue to narrow our results. We'll choose the search that we just completed and add the keywords non-surgical or conservative to our search. From our keyword search for non-surgical or conservative, we have 63,816 results. We'll combine this with our earlier search using AND, which gives us a total of 56 results. Chapter 9, Final Search Results and Review. Let's review. We've done a broad search for the medical subject heading carpal tunnel syndrome. We've applied the focus feature, then added subheadings, drug therapy, prevention and control, rehabilitation, and therapy. Next, we applied additional limits to our search, adding a limit, all adult, 19 plus years. From there, we did a keyword search for non-surgical or conservative. Next, we combined our results from the keyword search with our previous results using AND, giving us a total of 56 results. From our final list of results, the next step is to review them to see which ones best match our clinical question.